Many of you probably heard of this, but one of the biggest Roblox games right now and arguably of all time is called Grow Garden. In this game, you, uh, you, you, you grow a garden. Now, I've never actually played this game that much before, as you can tell in this on the tutorial, but I just thought it'd be cool to create this game from scratch and train AI to make the most profit possible. If you didn't know, I'm a big fan of stick figures. So why not add another game to the list? And uh, yeah, this is going to be a growing a garden video. First things first, I needed to create the game design. I know in Roblox Grow Garden, there's so many crop types, modifiers, events, etc. But I wanted to do something simple so the AI would learn fast and it wouldn't be too complex for it. I created this to-do list with every single crop and their stats. Each one has a seed price, the grow time, and the sell price. Now with the game design aspects complete, it's time to draw the sprites. My Discord server opted to name the Farmer Fred, who I'm drawing right now. I'm kind of the best at drawing, so it's pretty obvious what the crops were, but this is supposed to be a carrot, lettuce, potato, strawberry, tomato, grapes, corn, and blueberry. Fred the Farmer will have four main actions, planting, watering, reaping, and buying, on top of the side actions of selecting which plot and which seed to use. Here's how it works. He can buy seeds from the shop and plant them in epi soil tiles. Once planted, he can either wait for the duration of their growth time, or water it to make it grow faster. Once fully grown, he can reap it and instantly gain the money. He can buy two types of upgrades to decrease the amount of time it takes for each action. He can upgrade his watering can to make it work better and faster, and his glove to plant and reap faster. Fred's main focus is to get the most profit possible and manage his time correctly. He only gets 3 minutes a day to maximize the profit, and it takes a lot of time to move and perform actions. This is what Fred's world looks like. He has 9 plots of soil to plant on, and a shop on the left of the screen. I'm doubling down on this time management feature, as walking will take a toll on his 3 minute time limit. This creates the question, is it worth walking to the shop to either A, buy multiple small plants at once to save trips to the shop, or B, continue to upgrading the seed instantly, however getting less seeds in return and thus having to get to the shop more often. With the environment out of the way, let's now create the artificial intelligence. If you've already seen my Stickman AI Learn to Fight video, you might already know about the type of model I use, called the MAPO, Multi-Agent Proximal Policy Optimization. However, in this case, we only have one agent, the farmer, so we only need to use PPO. Here's a basic example of how it works. After performing an action, such as watering, planting, etc., the agent is given a number called a reward. It tells the agent how good or bad the action was. Harvesting a plant, positive reward. Watering a plant that's already fully grown, negative reward because it wastes time. The goal of the AI is to get the biggest sum of all the rewards by the end of the game. The PPO helps the agent tweak its behavior, like nudging it to buy better seeds or stop overrotting in crops, based on what worked well in the past. It does this by updating something called a policy, which is basically the brain of the AI that decides what action to take in any given situation. The reason we call it proximal policy is because instead of updating everything in the AI every time it trains, we update it very little at a time, like small steps. Over time, it becomes better and better, and that's how an RL model trains. Jeez, that was a giant explanation, but at least now you know how AI works. But now that we have that and the environment, it's time to train it. All I have to do is press run, and the AI will start to go on its own. I'll leave it here for the night, and we'll see what happens tomorrow morning. Oh no. Okay, so right off the bat is a major error. After about 200 or so iterations, all it knows how to do is buy cabbage, plant cabbage, harvest cabbage, and then it goes back to buying more cabbage. So obviously I did something wrong here. In my experience, reward shaping or like tweaking the rewards for each action is the hardest part of reinforcement learning. I realized that there wasn't much of an incentive to use higher tier crops, so for this change, all I did was increase the reward when doing actions with better crops, so let's try it again and see what happens. Oh boy. After training again, it was using better crops, yes, but not using time or money efficiently. It would choose the closest plot of soil, and it would take up at least half the time performing invalid actions, for example buying a seed where it doesn't have the money to. What I did to fix this was edit the reward shaping again, I increased the penalty for doing invalid actions, and I started training again. Okay, so I was just outsmarted. 
There's two types of reward shaping, sparse and dense. Sparse meaning you only give a reward at the very end, so it ne needs to figure everything out by itself. Or dense, where you give it small rewards as well, so it knows what actions are good or, or bad. I obviously did dense, in which every action gives it a small reward, and it basically figured out a way to use this system to its advantage and get infinite reward without doing anything. Choosing a plot of soil or a seed takes zero time, so once complete, it can perform another action basically after a millisecond. For some reason, I decided to make it so performing one of those actions rewards it 0.05 reward. However, because of the zero cooldown time, it just started spamming this to get thousands of rewards, rather than by playing the normal way. So at the very end, it would get like 5k, when just planting normally would only give it 100 at the very end. So obviously I made it so choosing a plot of soil or a seed gives negative reward instead, and I trained it again. And then for two days, for some reason, all it did was just buy the tomato plant over and over again and only use tomato plant. Like, tomatoes aren't even They're that good. by the like, other than ketchup and like, pizza, I guess, that's the only good part of tomatoes. But just regular tomatoes I hate eating, I don't know. And after training for the last time and tweaking the rewards so higher tier crops will get better reward by a lot, Fred finally did it. He started farming and buying better and better seeds, making more and more money than ever, and yeah, that's the result of this journey. If you want to fight Fred and see if you can make more money than him, I'll leave a link to the game in the description below, and you can fight him and see who comes out on top with the better money making method. So yeah, thank you for watching. Um, join my Discord for future leaks. This was leaked about like two weeks ago on my Discord server. And we have an awesome community here. Please join. Like and subscribe. And don't worry, there's still more projects to come. Here are some spoilers. <laughs> if you couldn't tell, I really like using this uh, this Undertale switch sound effect now. But anyway, the next one is going to be a new update for the Stickman fighting one. The new units I'm going to add are probably the Chaos units from Stick War, and maybe two new bosses, Hero Ultra Kill, and a, a Necromancer boss. That'd be cool. Obviously, I don't have any content right now because I didn't I didn't like make him yet. But yeah, thanks for watching. Like, subscribe. Thank you.